Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to add data from Airtable to Google Sheets and back up your data. So imagine this, you have added the data of a person called as John in Airtable. It has John's name, email address, phone number and all those details. Now you want to add John's data in Google Sheets to create a backup or analyze the data further. So you have two choices. The first choice is you can copy all the details of John from Airtable and manually fill each cell in Google Sheets. Now this approach is repetitive and tiresome. Or you can bring in some automation so that when a new record is created in Airtable, it will automatically add this data into Google Sheet. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Airtable and Google Sheets. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. Pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner you will find a button. Create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Airtable to Google Sheets. Airtable to Google Sheets. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Airtable because we want to send the data from Airtable. That is why. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new record. New record is basically a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger event is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new record is created in Airtable, then what action should be taken by the system? At present, there is only one trigger event, that is new record. Now in case if you don't find or if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new record is made in Airtable. Okay, so just click on connect with Airtable. Now in the new credentials, we have to fill in the token. So to get the token, let's have a visit to Airtable. So this is my Airtable account. And first of all, I'm just going to click on profile. Okay, so to get the token, you have to go to this part called as account. Click this. Okay, so come down to the API section. So this is your token. Simply copy this and just paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the token. So just click on save to integrate Pabli to Airtable. Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. One of these blanks is called as the base. And when we expand the base, you can find the different bases. Project Tracker, Digital Content Calendar, Project Catalog, Project Tracker, My Project One, Power, Inti Instagram, Basic Poll, and so and so. So basically, these are all the bases that I that is present in my Insta uh, in my Airtable account. So as you can see, these are all the bases. So these are the bases: Project Tracker, Project Catalog, My Project, Instagram, From Google Sheets, Yellow Records, and so on. All of them are a bunch of bases that is present in my Airtable account. So basically all the data that is present here is just being simply reflected here. This is because Airtable is now integrated with Pabli Connect. So what if, what if I create a new base? So I'm going to add, uh, click on add a base. Okay, so I'm going to start from scratch. Okay, so the name of the base is uh, chemistry classes. So basically we have uh, added a new base called as chemistry classes. So what I'm expecting is uh, in Pabli Connect, when we just refresh this, we can expect to find this newly created base called as chemistry classes in the dropdown. So let me refresh this and let me show you. Okay, so it's uh, refreshing. Okay, so let's expand this. Okay, so where is our base? Yes, there's a newly created base called as chemistry classes. Okay, so basically we have selected it. 
Now in the table, it is showing it as table one. This is because there is only one table called as table one. Okay, so basically the gist was that I'm just trying to show you any variation that is bought here will be reflected here. Now I have created a base, uh, created a base called as physics lecture 101. So this is the base and this is the table, table one. And this is the data, this is the record that I have created. So this is the name, Aaron Manuel, and this is the email, and this is the event, it's about physics lecture. And this is the duration that is of 30 minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click here and just going to change the base as uh, physics lecture 101 okay and when we just uh, select the base it is only showing uh, select the table it is only showing the table as one that's because there is only one table that is table one okay so basically we just want to fetch all the information from this particular base and when we just click on save and send test request it will show all the data from this particular base let me show you let me just click on save and send test request Okay, so as you can see, it is not showing the data that we want. Okay, so as I mentioned before, or perhaps I may not have mentioned earlier. So uh, Public Connect is uh, going to give the data of the recently created record in Airtable. So as you can see, this line is the recently created record. So this is the line and this blank and this record is uh, practically totally empty. That is why Public Connect is uh, returning this API response as nil. So what if, what if I just uh, delete this record? Okay, so I'm just going to delete it. Okay, and again, let me go to Public Connect and let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, the this time the API response is giving all the data that we need. The name is Aaron Manuel. This is the email Aaron Manuel 1991 at gmail.com. This is the duration uh, of uh, 30 minutes. This is the event physics lecture and this was the time it was created. So basically all the data that is present in this record is showing here. Okay, so basically now we have to create a backup in Google Sheet. Now to do that, all you have to do is just click on this plus button. Okay, so when you cl click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Google Sheets. Google Sheets. Okay. And now in the action event, how about we make it as add new row. Okay, so add new row is an action event. There are many more action events like append values, update values, delete values, create a sheet and so on. All of them are a bunch of action events. Now, just like the triggers, if you don't find the action events according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to add a new row in Google Sheet. Okay, so your obvious question is, why are we keeping the action event as add new row? So to explain you that, let me take you to my Google Sheet. So this is the Google Sheet I have created for my Airtable and it has been titled Airtable Backup. And these are the columns I have, name, email, event and duration. So the idea is that uh, the data will be appended into adjacent rows one by one. First, the name row will be updated, then email, then the event and the duration. Let me show you, let me go back to Public Connect and let me just click on connect with Google Sheets. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Google Sheets. Okay, so as you can see, a series of email accounts, uh, Gmail accounts has appeared in front of you. And this particular Google Sheet called as Airtable Backup is present in this account. So I'm just selecting this account. Okay, so now it is asking me to confirm my choice. Just click on allow. Okay, so it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. Okay, so now in the spreadsheet, it is showing it as screaming frog, frog crawl data. So it's something, it's a different spreadsheet that uh, I have in my uh, Google account. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click here and I'm going to change it to this one. So this is the Google sheet that we are interested in, a table backup. So we have selected this one. Okay, so now in the sheet one, uh, sheet it is showing it as sheet one. This is because there is only one sheet that is sheet one. Okay, so we are just uh, keeping it as sheet one. There is only one sheet. Okay, now coming to this part called as name, email, event, and duration. So basically, these are all the rows that is present in my Google Sheet name, email, event, and duration. So basically, we are going to map all the data here. So before we start mapping the details, let me tell you something Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so let's start mapping. So let me introduce you to this button. This is called as the mapping button. When we click this, you will find all the data that we have received from Airtable via Public Connect. So this is the name. Okay, so we are just clicking here and it will get mapped here. And then we have the email. We just click here and we map the email. Similarly for the event, the event is physics lecture and it has been mapped. The duration is 30 minutes. Okay, so we have mapped all the details. All we have to do is just click on save and send test request to set the data into Google Sheets. 
Okay, so the API response is showing the data has been sent to Google Sheets. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is the data. The name is Aaron. The email is AaronManual1991 and at the rate gmail.com. This is the event physics lecture and this is the duration that is 30 minutes. Excellent. So what if, uh, so the presence of uh, this uh, data in Google Sheets shows that we have successfully integrated Airtable and Google Sheets with help of PubliConnect. So how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not. But before we do that, uh, let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So let me take you to public connect once again and let me minimize this action window and let me minimize this trigger window okay so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first you integrated Airtable to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to google sheets so now there is a perfect flow of data between Airtable and google sheets so let me go back to Airtable. okay okay so this is the table and this time the name is uh, gmanual lizzie george okay different name and this is the email the rate gmail.com okay so the event this time is uh, chemistry lecture and the duration is 20 minutes okay so we have added a record so the name is Liji George and this is the email Liji manual uh, 34 at the rate gmail.com and this is the event chemistry lecture and this is the duration for 20 minutes so let's have a look in uh, Google Sheets do we have the data concerning the same so let me refresh this okay so after a gap of uh, one or two minutes we have got the data so this is the name and this is the email then we have the event chemistry lecture and this is the duration excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine this means anytime a new record is created in Airtable, it will be reflected as a row in google sheets not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using pabli connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.